But he has caused controversy over the weekend by posting that picture of himself holding a gun with a caption, Do you feel lucky, greeny punks? Do I feel lucky? Not really, said anyone who's ever run as a Greens candidate outside of the inner Melbourne. <laughs> A lot of people have said the post is insensitive due to the close timing to the Florida shooting. The Greens even went so far as to report the post to the AFP. So, was this just a harmless joke or something serious to be widely condemned? Let's find out. This is Tonightly Debates Lee. <laughs> Thank God they kept the flame in there. That's good. <laughs> Joining me to discuss this is the Senior Media Advisor for the Nationals uh, George, and George Christensen, Greg Larson. G'day, Tom. Hi. And Senior Media Advisor for the Greens, Greta Lee Jackson. Hi. 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 Now, Greg, George posting this photo has outraged a lot of people. It really has backfired for you, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, more like bloody front-fired out of the gun India. Get out. <laughs> OK, we'll come back to that. Um, <laughs> Greta, what about you? Your party referred this to the AFP. That seems like a bit of an overreaction. Did you honestly feel threatened by just a photo on the internet? Absolutely, I did. I've been locked in my safe room ever since. You, 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 just, you could not interpret that photo in any other way than a very real death threat. Oh, come on. It was a bloody joke. I mean, it's just a classic Aussie muck around. OK, if it was an Aussie muck around, wasn't it a bit insensitive to be joking about guns just days after a mass US shooting? Oh, when isn't it just days after a mass US shooting? I mean, well, it's true. I mean, come on. By your rules, we could never post a photo of George playing around with a couple of guns. Yeah! I think that's a good rule. I mean, don't you think this is kind of unsophisticated behaviour for a politician? Would an unsophisticated man go all the way to Malaysia for stomach surgery? <laughs> It's true, he just got lap band surgery done in Malaysia. Look it up. OK, it's, I don't know how to respond to that at all. Looks, so. Well, that's what they want, Tom. They want to elicit a response. They're just trying to get a reaction. And I am going to give it to them. What? You are evil. You are revolting. <laughs> George Christensen is not fit to be an MP. And if you authorise this, you're not fit to be a media advisor for the Nationals. Oh, see, I've got you there. I bloody got you into my web, my trap. Because I'm... <laughs> shush. Because I am a great media advisor. See, this is all we have to do. All we have to do is insult the Greens and then our polling numbers absolutely skyrocket. I mean, watch this. Fuck you. Whoa, OK. Let's settle down. That is misogynist. That is misogynist. Uh, it isn't, and we just went up two points, no. idiot. OK, that's... Idiot? That's ableist. All right. Uh, no, five more points. Shut up. Shut up! OK, that was a direct threat, a death threat. Did you hear that? that direct threat to my death... safety? Did you... I think that's a bit of a stretch, OK? Oh, Let's well, I identify with it not being a stretch. What? OK. <laughs> Look, this is what I'm talking about. She's going crazy. All we did was we posted a photo of a fat bloke with a bloody... Body bag. shaming! It's up. He's, he is a fat boy okay. and he's our fat all right, boy. All right. I'm I'm to say to say Greg, are you honestly saying that you purposely rile up Green supporters just to get votes? Absolutely, yes, I do. That is that is firmly our policy. But the left do it too. The left do it all the time. I met that Sheila the other week yeah, on bloody Invasion Day talking about wanting to burn down Australia. Oh, she didn't mean that literally. Exactly. And we know she didn't mean it literally, but we get angry and we pretend that it's a threat and, we, and, and, and all the Conservatives rally around the base. And you guys get angry at us for being angry and then all the lefties rally around that. It actually works out quite well for everyone. Yeah, because our voters <laughs> never overlap, so it's win-win. I know, because all your voters are in the inner city. We don't want them seats, because yeah. this is what I'm thinking, right? We, we could actually work together a little bit. Yous can have... <laughs> You can have the inner city seats. We don't want them. We, we get the country seats. We just keep yelling at each other and stuff. It could be almost like a weird coalition. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, we've we got a coalition at the moment. It's not working out well. It's okay. going... Great. That's a great idea. I'm in. Yeah. What are you talking about? You want a coalition with this guy? He just said he threatened your personal safety. Oh, I knew he wasn't serious. You should harden up, Snowflake. What yeah. the <laughs> Yeah. You're a, you're a cuck, I'm Tom. A I'm a cuck. You're a, a cuck. cuck. You better not start chanting cunk at me. Cuck. 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 No. Cuck. No. Cuck. No. 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 Everybody cuck. shut up. Cuck. Cuck. He's a cuck. He's a cuck. Greg and Greta, thank you for your time. Yeah, no worries. Cuck. <laughs>